guys, it's Remina Math Person. Today I'll be going over how to do question 231 on an SOE exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, as we are attempted it, let's just dive right in. So basically, we're looking for the variance of n given n plus s equals 2. As always, the variance formula goes like this, right? Is expectation of n squared, the second moment, minus the expectation of n, the whole thing squared. Alright, but then the trick here is that there is a condition here. Let's say we're trying to solve for expectation of n. Well, this is equal to what the probability of n is equal to given the n plus s equals 2. Right? So let's find where n plus s equals 2 first. Okay, 0, 0, nope. 0, 1, no. 0, 2, yeah. 0 plus 2 is indeed 2. And so is this one. And so is this one. All right, as always, the um, conditional probability could break, be broken down into n equals i, comma, n plus s equals 2, over the probability that n plus s equals 2, right? So what are our possible n values? Well, n can take the values 0, 1, 2, or 3 plus, but because 3 plus doesn't satisfy any of our conditions, we can just throw that away. So now we're looking for what is the, let's just do the numerators first this part where is it where p what's the probability that n is equal to zero and n plus s is equal to two well, that's just right here point one so this one's going to just be the numerator first that's point one how about this one when is probability of n equal to one and n plus s equals two well, that's point one a the one we circled and likewise the last one's going to be point one two all right so what is the total probability that n plus s equals two we can just figure that out by just adding everything up, 0.1 plus 0.18 plus 0.12, which is equal to 0.4. So the conditional probability of n equals i, n plus s equals 2, over the probability that n plus s equals 2 is just taking that number we took earlier, dividing by the whole number, or the whole total n plus s equals 2. So this is what you get. Now, the expectation is super easy, right? <laughs> expectation of x, or expectation of n, technically, if we're trying to be technical here, oh, is equal to the n value, 0. The first one is just going to be 0, so I'm not going to even bother writing it down. But the next one is 1 times 0.18 over 4, plus 2 times 0.12 over 4, right? And the second moment, n squared, is going to be 1 squared times 0.18 over 4 plus 2 squared over 0.12 over 4. So this is going to be both equal to, this one is equal to 1.65, the numerator is equal to 1.05. So when we find the variance of n, plugging it back into our formula we have earlier, 1.65 minus 1.05 squared which is equal to 0.5475, which is the closest to 0.55, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!